step inside into the world of Lady Till's Curios. Welcome back to Lady Teal's Curios. I'm your host, Lady Teal. Tonight we're doing something a little different. There is a video that goes along with this podcast. So if you are listening to the podcast, I will link the YouTube video in the show notes and you can watch along with the video or you can listen along with the video. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit more video content here, hopefully. And the reason for this is just because a lot of the places that I go to, you can describe them with words, you can paint a picture with the words, but sometimes I really want you to see and feel the experiences that I'm experiencing. And the best way to do that is through video. So hopefully we'll be doing a lot more of that. In tonight's episode, we are traveling down to southern Arizona to a very small town called Ajo. Some of you horror buffs might recognize this town as the filming location for a horribly done horror movie called Night of the Lepus. However, Ajo is not really known for this badly done movie. Instead, it's known for its mining history, its beautiful Spanish architecture, the tropical palm trees, and most importantly, the haunted hospital. In this episode, we're not going to dive too, too deep into the history of Ajo because much like other mining towns, it experienced a similar boom and bust. I will say for Ajo, the boom and bust actually happened around the 1980s, whereas a lot of boom and bust towns we hear about in the early 20th century. But um, this particular town experienced labor strikes, decreasing copper prices all around the same time in the 1980s. And so once the mine shut down, everything else in the town shut down with it. The hospital was built in 1918 and it shut down shortly after the pit did in 1986. Once known as the Phelps Dodge Hospital, this location is now known as the Copper Canyon Paranormal Research Center. The reason for this is because Everybody who goes to the hospital experiences some sort of paranormal activity. The TV show Ghost Adventures filmed here and lots of people have done overnight paranormal investigations. I was actually able to do a two hour self-guided investigation slash tour and I didn't go at nighttime. I would love to go back and do the overnight stay. It just wasn't feasible when we were down there. So maybe next year we'll see. One of the reasons I wanted to do this was because I'm very interested in the paranormal, not just ghosts, but like all aspects of paranormal activity. And I have never really had any strong experiences that have swayed me to the complete side of being a believer. I want to believe, <laughs> but there's always some sort of skepticism that surrounds me. So I thought, heck, if everybody that goes to this hospital experiences something, this is the perfect place for me to start. So I'm going to show you my experience at the hospital and I'm going to let you know how I felt and what all went down. You'll see some video clips. Um, we'll talk about a little bit of the history. There's not like, as far as the history of the hospital, there wasn't some tragic event like a fire or a flood or anything like that that caused the hauntings to happen. They think because of its proximity to the mine that there's all this residual activity. We've talked about in previous episodes how a lot of mining towns are really haunted or have this residual activity because 
of their proximity to like copper or other minerals that are supposed to be conductors, other rocks and things like that that are known in the paranormal community to be conductors of energy. And so when you go to these places, you experience more apparitions, more sounds, more of everything. I have never experienced anything as far as haunted paranormal activity goes. I have had some experiences I've talked about on the show um, regarding like my tarot deck and things like that, but never anything ghostly. So I was very eager to try this out and it did not disappoint. I will say going into this, I'll preface by saying like, I didn't experience anything in the moment. I never felt nauseous. I never saw an apparition. I never heard sounds until I was going back through my recordings and well, I'll play those for you in just a bit. So let's get started. Let's go into the Phelps Dodge Hospital, AKA the Copper Canyon Paranormal Research Center. Hey guys, I am currently on my way to the Ajo Hospital or the Copper Canyon Paranormal Research Center. So when you first arrive and walk into the hospital, you're in the waiting room and you'll see a scale model of the hospital. On the left hand side, they provided me with some maps. You can see the first floor plan here and then the second floor plan. And this was really helpful in understanding what rooms kind of held certain energies like the baby ward or the laboratory, that sort of thing. They also provided equipment. There was a thermometer, an EMF reader, a flashlight, and a recorder. I also brought my own recorder, which is on the far left here. That's the Zoom H6, and that's what I used for the majority of my investigation. I'm going to start in this room on the far left of the first floor, which was the minor operating room and the head nurse's area. Now, this room was said to have a very malevolent very malicious being in it. I never felt any kind of negative energy in this room at all. So I would love to know if you see something in the video that I missed or if you can feel anything from this video, let me know. I will say this is the only room that my EMF reader went off and I'm going to play that clip for you here in a minute. Um, in this clip you'll also hear somebody else's spirit box and it sounds like something is trying to get through but I could never distinguish anything uh, specific that was said or anything like that. So um, yeah, let's take a listen. I'm going to play that one more time with the volume up a little bit because the second time that I say anybody there, it sounds like somebody is saying no. So I'm going to play that one more time and again, let me know what you think they're saying. Anybody there? Okay, I definitely heard a no that second time. And what's crazy is I have listened to this audio multiple times and this is the first time I'm actually hearing that no. And then the EMF meter goes off and it's almost like something is telling me to leave. I'm getting that vibe from the recording. So maybe there was something that didn't want me there. I never actually felt that kind of energy, but now that I'm listening to the recording, I totally heard a no. And yeah, that's crazy. I didn't hear that before. How cool is that? After I left that room, I continued to explore the rest of the hospital. And there were some very unique rooms throughout the hospital. 
and I will say I wish I could have gone at nighttime because the guides told me that the energy just totally shifts at nighttime and the activity picks up like you think you have some good evidence for activity during the daytime wait till you go at nighttime so one day I would love to go at nighttime I'm going to play a clip where you'll hear me walking out of a room. And right before this, I was in this room asking if there was anybody there, if anybody would like to say hi, and didn't hear anything, didn't really hear anything on the audio when I was playing it back until I listened to my footsteps. And it sounds like, to me, it sounds like somebody is talking over my footsteps. So I'm going to play it once, then I'm going to play it again amplified, And then I will tell you what I think they are saying, and I would love to know what you heard. Okay, so here is the first clip. And here is the clip again, amplified. So to give you an idea of what was happening here, I started leaving the room and then I stopped because I thought I heard something. And you can kind of hear the people down below on the um, on another floor, and you can hear them. But there's also this other voice that I hear, and it's like I hear laughter first, which is just kind of like a, <laughs> and then I hear something that says she's haunted or it's haunted or we're haunted. I'm not sure, but I keep hearing the word haunted. So I would love to know what you heard, and if we're on the same page. So for $25, $30, you have two hours to go explore the entire hospital. That's the first floor, the second floor, and they even open up the basement for you, which is really cool. And I took full advantage of that time. I explored each and every room, took recordings in each and every room, and Even though I said at the beginning I never heard anything with my own ears, never saw anything with my own eyes, I was there with people who did have experiences while I was there. One lady felt the temperature change, another couple heard audible hellos and who's there, and when they told me to go check out this one room... When they heard those voices say hello and who's there in this room, I took a recording in that room and even though I didn't see anything with my own eyes and hear anything with my own ears, my devices picked up something. So I'm going to play that clip for you now. If anyone's in here, can you say hello? anyone's in here, can you say hello? So what did you think? I thought this was a perfect example of how paranormal investigations can go sometimes. I tried to keep an open mind. I tried to go in with no expectations. Did I hope I would experience something? Of course, but I didn't feel like I experienced anything until I went back later and listened to those recordings and got those EVPs. And to be honest with you, I still have to listen to about an hour and a half of audio because I was actually there for three hours and I was talking to the guides and there were some interesting developments that happened while we were speaking. There were noises that the building was making or maybe ghosts were making. Who knows? And I have not had a chance to listen to that audio yet. So there could be a part two to this episode. 
But I thank you for tuning in to this podcast and I'm really excited. Uh, I am definitely going to be trying to do more video. I wish I had captured more video at the hospital. It was really hard juggling all the equipment. There was the thermometer, the EMF reader, meter, the uh, my camera, my recorder, <laughs> my flashlight, and when you're trying to figure out what you want to use and what you don't want to use and it's your first time it can be all a bit overwhelming and and so now i have a pretty good idea of how i would like to do investigations in the future definitely want to bring my recorder because as i said before i thought i didn't experience anything lo and behold i got all these evps and it just goes to show you that what we as humans can sense might not be the end all be all there's technology that can help us and I just think it's amazing I am so happy that I went back through and listened to those recordings because I walked out thinking I had nothing and it was a great experience regardless but now that I have those EVPs that's just some extra motivation to try investigations again and to keep looking into the paranormal. So I think that's it for tonight. I thank you for tagging along in this episode of Wanderings, a very paranormal edition, and I really look forward to doing more video visual episodes with you, and I really hope you enjoyed this one. As always, stay curious. <laughs>